It seems to me that many people understand the meaning of gaming laptop, imagining some portable rocket launch panel and suitcase from some American spy movie. Eventually, the reality is simple, because gaming ultrabooks with kinda like MacBook size have occupied the market a long time ago. But the laptop that can be called the best in such form factor is the one with nice cooling system and the hardware capable to work on its maximum. Sounds nothing like an easy way to solve the problem. Here's when companies pretend that hot white laptop and burning hands are normal situations and someone is trying to do their best to fix that, rather than turning a blind eye to it. Today you will see how the second approach was brought to life in Rock Zephyrus S. First things first, about the cooling. Instead of piling up dozens of evaporating chambers, Asus realized that if there is not enough space for airflow, let's just make that space. The name of that mechanism is scissor door hinges that leave the laptop's bottom when you open it and form a decent split on the back. Thanks to it, the ventilation efficiency rises to 22%, comparing with some traditional solutions, at least in manufacturer's opinion. By the way, who knows what traditional solutions are they talking about? In practice, when you combine that idea with internal coolers, you are getting an excellent stability of the system even under heavy loads. Our stress test was made while playing Metro Exodus on almost top graphics, and it's still hard for me to say how much time do you need to feel throttling. All I know is when it's enough to suffer. Although the coolers are not kind of fans of some drone like in Helios 500, but their noise is loud and clear. The laptop has a button that launches a special software for setting the cooler up and system monitoring. Also, nobody forgot about the keyboard backlight, you can set it from here as well. A couple of words about the keyboard. It is one of the most comfortable things I've ever used, partially because of its placement. Bringing it to the bottom of the laptop was a bold move, but our hands didn't get tired working on Zephyrus S, so I'm definitely a fan of this decision. In addition to the backlight and non-standard placement, I will also note a touchpad to the right side with a familiar feature called number pad. The upper part of this area has many diagonal dents. They hide a decent amount of slots, some of which for sure help the cooling system, while others cover two speakers that for some reason were doing a bit rattling sound. After checking the info on the internet and judging by many reviews, I realized that this is the flow of the particular sample, because people are mostly delighted about that sound. Speakers play loud and juicy, they are no match for acoustic systems or headphones, but as for the built-in system, the quality of the sound is pretty good. Also, I'd give my wow's to Ultrabook's display, because the only thing that I wish was here is 4K resolution, for the rest I have no complaints. The screen is approved by Pantone that speaks about the high accuracy of displayed colors. As for the specs, it is 15.6 inch IPS Full HD with a full coverage of sRGB, the response speed of 3 milliseconds and a refreshing rate of 144 Hz. On this laptop, the software seems to have enhanced visual smoothness and speed, although frankly speaking it reacts like a regular one. In some games, the picture runs kinda liquid and honestly, I received a lot of pleasure thanks to it. As for the ports, to the left side you see the power supply one, USB 3.1 Type-C, two USB 2.0 Type-A and a headset mini jack. On the right side, there are USB 3.1 Type-C featuring display port 1.2 and power delivery, as well as USB USB 3.1 Type A. On the back, the only important thing is HDMI 2.0B. In theory, by the mentioned multifunctional USB Type C, you can charge the laptop via power bank. But since we didn't have the power bank with power delivery in our hands, what's left is to believe and enjoy this piece of information. Okay, we just didn't want to buy another power bank to the office. We've got like five in total already. Because of obvious reasons, Zephyrus S cannot boast with excellent battery life. During medium loads, it can last a little more than 3 hours from full battery charge. Besides, you can't play without connecting to a power supply, not only because of the immediate discharge from 100% to zero by launching PUBG, but also because of the lowest system performance when running with only the battery. Now let's move into the exact performance. Our models got Intel Core i7, 8750H processor, Nvidia GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q graphics, Graphics with 8 gigs GDDR6, 16 gigs of SD RAM, DDR4, and half of terabyte SSD in storage. The system itself is not just quick, but light and fast, and that's the final word here. PUBG on the top graphics gave out at worst about 60 FPS. Usually the figures danced around 90 FPS. World of Tanks gives 90 to 120 FPS, but Metro Exodus unfortunately didn't share the same thing with this laptop, and as you can see, goes badly here. At near maximum settings, without due 
viewing a screencast, the best it's got is 25 to 30 FPS. While recording the gameplay, we rarely seen the numbers above 20. If set all graphic sliders to their maximum, you will have to deal with lags even in the main menu. What happened and who's to blame? I do not know, but such behavior of Zephyrus S is quite surprising to me. In the end, I can say that Zephyrus S is a very pleasant gaming device. It easily fits in your backpack and respective to such size cooling system is just outstanding. Ultrabook's hardware is powerful indeed. Together with really nice display and brilliant speakers, they form a decent overall picture. Can I call it successful? Definitely yes, and your thoughts are always welcome in the comment section down this video. Anyway, we will place the links where you can buy this guy in the description box below. And if you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe and ring the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching and cheers!